Hey folks, Mike Carney with Kayak Fishing Fun. Everyone knows that Hobie makes some of the best fishing kayaks in the industry, but you may not know just how extensive their lineup of excellent accessories are. Not just for Hobie boats, but all sorts of kayaks. So we want to cover with you our top 12 Hobie accessories. Okay, first we have the EVA deck pad kits. These kits come in uh, complete bow kits, which cover the rails and interior. This kit is just the interior. This is excellent high durability uh, stuff. It keeps noises from occurring in the bottom of your boat. It's much nicer to if you barefoot in your kayak. Uh, it's less slippery as well. That's one of the first things I do to any kayak is get one of these EVA kits. Uh, I like the interior ones uh, alone. Uh, some folks like to bling it out totally. Great accessory. Next, we have Hobie's excellent rubberized map pockets. These provide interior storage for all sorts of items in your kayak. You know, your pliers, uh, you know, they're hookless. So even treble hooks just like that pop right out. Leader material, anything you need handy access to inside of the boat. And obviously these come standard in the Hobie Pro Anglers and the Outback, and you can add them to most of uh, Hobie's other boats. Uh, they're also adaptable to many kayaks on the market, and they are an excellent accessory to have. Uh, one that I consider a must have in my boats. Next, we have Hobie's Twist and Seal Hatch Kits. Excellent products. They come in both rectangular versions, both horizontal and vertical, and round six and eight inch. This rectangular one up here comes standard. Uh, fantastic aftermarket add-on hatches to any boat. What I really like about them is they have all the mounting hardwares included, including a ring that really pulls in the hatch to the bottom of the boat, forming a great seal. And they have a foam seal that goes on the top portion as well. So unlike some other products where you have to find your own screws and seals, with Hobie, you get everything you need. Next, we have Hobie H-Rails. Uh, some of the Hobie boats come standard with these. Uh, on this Outback, it's slotted, so it can take T-bolt accessories. But the, the big advantage, it's a 12-sided rail, which provides a huge gripping point for any kind of accessories that you want to add uh, via this unique Hobie locking mechanism that's on here. So you can get cup holders, you know, tackle bins, rod holders, and it's a super secure uh, hardcore mount that will withstand any type of conditions. I've added some extra H rails on the side of this Outback to hold some horizontal rod holders. You can mount, I don't know, an AMA kit on here, uh, another vertical rod holder. You can put a fish finder off the side, almost anything. They are really cool, super durable. Uh, mounting option, and you can probably get these and add them to other boats as well. Next, we have these excellent Hobie Soft Cooler Fish Bags. These are wonderful additions to any boat from any manufacturer. This is a small one. It'll actually fit the uh, bow hatch of a pro angler. I like to use it on the Outback and others. Great way to keep anything cold or stuff that you want to uh, store dry. So, you know, drinks, your lunch, uh, you can put fish in here, which I often do. They come in various sizes. This is my pro angler version. Uh, I filled one of these with uh, walleyes one year, so uh, it'll handle big saltwater fish as well. Uh, great additions. Uh, I consider them to be must-have items. Next, we have the Hobie Anchor Trolley Kit. Great addition, we're just about to add it here. Uh, previously installed one last night on our Pro Angler 14. Uh, everything that you need to mount this is included in the bag. Two trolleys, generous amount of rope and a bungee section. Uh, they're really, really good additions to have. I do a lot of anchor fishing and using a stakeout pole, which you can use for both, uh, both of those products. So. Uh, it's one of the things I consider to be a must-have item for any kayak. All right, another very important safety item to have, and I have one on every boat. Up here under the hatch, I have Velcroed into the hull, 
a bilge pump. So a great way uh, to suck out water from the hull. I also carry a sponge for like small amounts, but this is a great way just in case uh, for whatever reason you need to build your boat or build a friend's boat uh, that's with you. I've uh, bailed out quite a few people, uh, pardon the pun, uh, who didn't have one of these on board. So I consider it a must have also available from Hobie. Next, we have the Hobie safety kit. A uh, super handy waterproof kit comes with all the safety uh, gear that you might need, a required whistle. Uh, this one also has a magnifying glass compass, temperature on the back, uh, some medical tape for wrapping up gauze or bandages, waterproof matches, uh, gauze roll, uh, a, a flashlight and multi-tool uh, comes with it. Flashlight also has some spare batteries. Uh, you get a signal mirror, uh, a space blanket, uh, the ever popular duct tape, uh, which you can fix and patch just about anything with, uh, and some additional uh, bandages and gauze. Like a very handy, uh, convenient way to keep all the safety items that you need stored uh, dryly in the boat. Highly suggest you get one of these kits, can be put inside anybody's uh, kayak. Next, under the hatch and under the hatch liner, I have my favorite Hobie plug-in cart, the fold and stow plug-in cart, which I keep stored underneath here. Uh, and it simply unfurls here, shock corded so it pops into place. Pop your wheels on either side. And I use the quick attach system that's on many Hobie kayaks. An elastic cord that I use to pull it up through uh, the rear scupper plugs. Uh, great wheels, super handy, stores out of the way. I don't have to worry about it falling off the back of the boat or being, uh, being in the way back there. This is by far my favorite Hobie kayak car. Okay, one of the most expensive parts of your Hobie boat is this fantastic Mirage Drive. This is a 180 version with turbo kick-up fins. So you want to make sure in the event that you do tip over, you have a way and this, this drive becomes dislodged uh, for any reason, which surprisingly I hear from a number of people that have had that because they didn't have it either clicked in or some other reason. You want to make sure it's leashed. Hobie makes this version clips right to the front. They include a pad eye if you want to install it in the boat. I put it here under the rail, like no problems, drops right in. Another critical accessory that I like for that Mirage Drive to keep it in shape when I'm bouncing it from the car because I don't carry it in the boat when I transport it is this stowage bag. Fits cleanly right in here. Goes right over the shoulder when you're done. Uh, great way to store it and keep it in the garage, spiders and whatnot, don't get into it. Uh, a great accessory. And this is a must have accessory for your uh, Mirage Drive. Next, we have an Uber Hobie accessory, the Hobie Livewell V2. This is a fantastic option for keeping your bait alive and fresh for a full day of fishing. Comes with its own six volt gel cell battery here on the back. Uh, has three rod holders that come equipped with it. There are places where you can add more rod holders. Excellent twist and seal hatch uh, to keep everything contained. Plugs right into your uh, scupper plugs so that your uptake and variable pump so that you can either have a full eight gallons or uh, six-ish gallons, depending on what your needs are. You can also use it for panfish as a way to keep uh, your panfish alive or even small bass for that matter, I guess. Uh, I had the original version of this, loved it. This new and improved one is even better. And while expensive, I consider this an awesome addition for anybody who uses live bait or needs to keep fish alive. Okay, another must-have Hobie accessory is the Hobie H-Crate. Like all Hobie accessories, exceptionally well thought out, super bomb-proof. There's places where you can mount more rod holders along the back. There are four built-in. 
So you have four that uh, come here in the corner with rod keepers. Uh, excellent addition. Uh, fits in the tank well of almost any kayak. You can get this zippered accessory pouch so that you can keep all your things as dry as possible. It's not a completely watertight. You get four H rails that are a part of this, so you can put lights, uh, cameras, flags, any other thing that you might want to put in an H rail. It's got tie downs for your pad eyes in the boat. Uh, an excellent, excellent addition to any boat on the market. Okay, that was the big 12, but Hobie has a couple other items that I think you should consider. They have a hardware rigging kit that has just about every nut screw pad eye that you could think of that saves you a lot of trips to uh, Amazon to order stuff or to your local kayak dealer. Uh, I would also suggest that you get uh, their inflatable PFD is a great option. Uh, what I like about it, a lot of PFDs for me are big and bulky and come out here. So I'm always holding the rod handle is extended. This uh, version sits really flat to your body. So it's easy to cast all day and your arms aren't extended out. Next, we have Hobie hatch liners for this vertical hatch. It's a drop-in bucket. Uh, can hold anything you want. You can get dividers that uh, separate uh, this compartment from Burley Pro, but it's a great way to add extra storage to your boat. Uh, up front here, we have a drop-in hatch liner here. Again, I can put, you know, soft drinks, lunches, stuff I need to keep dry. The seal here, make sure that the hatch stays dry. So great items to add. I consider them, again, must have for any Hobie boat. Next, we have the Vantage Seat Accessory Bag mounted here to the rear of my seat. Uh, excellent item, can hold rain gear. It's got a couple pouches in here. It's got a key lanyard that you can drop in, another interior. It drains out the bottom in case it gets wet. Uh, so uh, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant, uh, but it will drain if you get water in it. Uh, keep all your valuables right on hand. Great way to take advantage of this dead space in the rear and give you some interior storage in the boat. And the final Hobie accessory that I might mention is a rigging stand. This boat sitting on their rigging stand right now, you're gonna have to have something so that you can work on your boat. Uh, it's a very convenient, great way to store it. It's matched perfectly for the underside of your Hobie hull. So uh, another accessory to consider. So that's it. Let us know in the comments below what you think should be included in this list or come up with your own top 12. Hobie accessories aren't the cheapest in the world, but they are exceptionally well thought out, engineered by anglers and bomb proof built amongst the best in the industry that you get in terms of durability. And they include everything you need. You don't have to make special trips to the store, to the hardware, to get extra screws or seals, etc. Everything you need is typically in the package. So we appreciate you watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next Kayak Fishing Fun video.